All right, well, folks, good morning. Welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And uh, today I'm somewhere different. Um, haven't been here in a few years, and I've never tried to do a video before. But this morning I'm out at the Cedar Lakes Conference Center in Ripley, West Virginia. And uh, last time I was here, caught a decent one on a buzz bait. But I hope I can catch a couple more this morning on a buzz bait. Um, we've got 67 degree air temperature out here the water i just took the temperature it's 83 really clear and uh i'm gonna try try to start out with a couple buzz baits here these are a couple of uh the beach fork custom baits uh retro buzz buzz baits that i make and uh i'm gonna see if we can uh get something to hit them This wacky rig out there. Oh man, he missed it. There we go. He come back and got that. He's not very big, but it's a fish. Oh man, it got off. Oh. Got one, finally. Not very big, but I'm not skunk now. <sighs> I had to drop down in size from the shimmy stick to, ow! Oh. Yeah, I had to go down in size to uh, this four inch Ocho. I was using a five or six inch shimmy stick on the wacky rig. Whew. Nothing like getting smacked in the face. Uh, Cedar Lakes Conference Center, Ripley, West Virginia. About time I finally caught one. Nine and a quarter inches. Hurry up, game turn loose. But at least the skunk's off my back. <clears throat> there we go. Second cast in a row. This one's a little bit bigger. <sighs> Four inch Ocho does it again. Yeah, I had been using the uh, shimmy stick, but I was missing bites like these fish were too small to, 
to, to hit it. So I downsized to this uh, four inch green pumpkin black flake uh, strike king ocho. Of course I got it on a wacky rig. And uh, with a, uh, if I can get the hook out, on a two aught mustad wide gap finesse hook. And that's two bass now and two cast. And this one's 11 inches long. Uh, all right, let's get this little dude turned loose. There we go. I think this is a little bit better fish. Oh yeah. All right, finally got, finally got a keeper. If I can get it in my hand. All right. The Ocho comes through again. Ouch. That gonna quit biting me. Not bad for 84 degree water at this time in the morning. Bass number three. They kept missing that buzz bait and shimmy stick this morning. I was like, man, this is gonna be a bad day, but so far it's getting better. Easy. Fourteen inches. Got a nine, nine and a quarter, an eleven, and now a fourteen incher. One pound, two ounces. All right, let's get this thing back in the water. Cedar Lakes Conference Center, Ripley, West Virginia. There's bass number four. Come on in here. Oh yeah. The four inch Ocho slaying them this morning. This is like four bass in the last 15 minutes. Oh, heck yeah. This has been a good day. pliers on this one. <sighs> yes, bass number four.
There we go. Oh, please stay on. Oh, this is a good, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, come on. Ah, get in here. Finally got another one. <sighs> Ocho's doing it again. Easy, bud. <sighs> ah! <sighs> he got that hook down a little bit far back so I'm just gonna let him go with it in him but I do now have five bass this morning Oh, let's see here. Thirteen and a quarter. Oh! Alright. Stop that. There we go. Phew! There we go. Got one. <laughs> it ain't big, but it's another one. And, whew. Ouch! The Ocho does it again. This is six of them on the Ocho today. But this is the smallest one, but I've moved over to another pond, and this water is 90 degrees, so... Ah, uh, yes. Bass number six of the day. Oh. I come out from under this bridge here. Eight inches long. All right, it's 90 degrees out here. The water's 90 degrees. So I'm just gonna be glad I can catch a fish. All right, here we go. good one it came from out from under that bridge too God, this is my best one of the day uh, fishing under the shade of a walkway bridge Ocho got him again ah whoo that's my best one of the day right there folks Heck yeah. That's two bass from that same spot. Number seven. Oh. Four inch Ocho catches another one. Sixteen inches. Mm. One 
One pound, seven ounces. That's the fish of the day right there so far. 90 degrees out here. Water's 89, 90 degrees. But if you can find some shade, like this bridge here, they'll still bite. <clears throat> All right, well, folks, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. It's hot out here, 90 degrees out, which is why I'm finishing this in the shade. Um, I fished two different ponds over here at the Cedar Lakes Conference Center here in Ripley, West Virginia. Um, first one I fished this morning, I caught five bass out of it. Um, caught them all on this uh, wacky rig, four-inch uh, Strike King Ocho. Uh, it's green pumpkin with uh, black flakes, and uh, I was fishing it on my new uh, Abu Garcia Red Max combo. Uh, it's seven foot medium action. I've got it spooled with uh, 30 pound test uh, high vis vicious braid line, and then up there toward the top, I've got like three or four feet of 15 pound uh, vicious fluorocarbon for a liter. And uh, main reason I was fishing the Ocho is because over in that other pond, uh, I had a few bites on this shimmy stick, but I figured I thought they were either bluegill or really small bass, so I figured I would uh, try to show them a smaller piece of plastic and and uh, try to catch them on this Ocho, which it worked out because um, I had one on this shimmy stick, the plastic or yeah the worm got twisted around on the hook and didn't get good penetration and of course the fish got off so that's when I said well I need to show them something smaller and uh because I saw the first bass after it chased one of my square bill crankbaits so then I pitched this out there and caught two back to back but the best part is over here at this pond behind me I caught two on this ocho on back-to-back -back pitches to the walkway bridge, one of the uh, concrete pilings that holds it up, caught two back-to-back, -back, a little eight or nine incher and then that 16 incher, which is the biggest one I caught today. And then uh, I did lose one on a jig too. I lost a bunch of fish today. I caught seven, but I could have, could have been a lot more, but I lost one on this jig too. That's just a, a green pumpkin strike king Rattling Pro model jig, and I've got a Bama crawl colored uh, baby rage crawl on the back of it. But uh, there's not a cloud in the sky, barely, and it's hot, the water's hot, so I knew they wouldn't be chasing anything. So, yeah, broke out this Ocho and caught seven. So, it's my best day this year for numbers. So, uh, so I think this will make a pretty good video, and I hope y'all like it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you all could uh, give it a like, maybe subscribe to it, and uh, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think, and uh, try to get out and get another one done as soon as I can. And uh, thank everybody for watching.